The Xtex 2.4 major update focuses on 3D visualization by adding photorealistic material rendering and new geometry options for use in the 3D preview. Rendering photorealistic images of your captured materials is now a built-in feature. This means you can create images for your database or online shop with the click of a button. Let's look at how this works. For quick access, a Render Material option has been added to the toolbar in Xtex. Clicking this automatically uses a software called Blender to create your image using your captured material. Blender is a free open source 3D rendering software that requires separate installation should you wish to use the 3D render tool. Switching between scenes can be done from the Xtex preferences. Several 3D scenes are included with your installation, and the scene selected here will be used to render your image. If you open the Vizu customer portal, you will see additional scenes can be found in the download section. All scenes are provided in a lower quality version for fast results and a high quality version for the most realistic results. To note this, the scene names are marked as fast or HQ. Please be aware that the high quality versions may take a long time to render depending on your computer specifications. Continuing from the download section in the customer portal, New geometry options for use with the 3D preview in Xtex have been added along with instructions on how to install them. Here we can see the new hoodie and pillow geometries. These and the other new geometry options allow for better visualization of what a fabric repeat looks like on an object relevant to your industry. The next new feature is a brand new automatic tiling option. Now, in addition to stitching, pattern recognition, and synthesis, mirror tiling can also be selected. As you will see with this example capture of a wood surface, mirror tiling works well on materials with long linear features that may not work as well with our other algorithms. Physics measurement is an essential component that works hand in hand with visual properties captured by Xtex. With this in mind, the next added feature is the Browseware Fabric Analyzer connection. Users of the fab can now click the Measure Physics button in the XX toolbar to launch the fab user interface. The measurement process here is the same as using the Browseware Fab interface separately. The resulting JSON file can be added to your XTEX U3M 1.1 project by using the Add Raw Physics option in the XTEX Material Information tab. And finally, a highly requested material rotation function has been added for quick rotation of materials within Xtex. This can be helpful for longer samples that must be captured horizontally and then rotated so the grain line is vertical. Tie cords and denim are some examples where this is useful. Having this feature built into Xtex means you no longer need to use the Send to Photoshop option for this task. We hope you enjoy these new features. As always, you can download this latest release by navigating to the Vizu customer portal.